Lost was released between 2004 and 2010, lasting for six seasons, and was created by Damon Lindelof, Jeffrey Lieber, and J.J. Abrams. It follows the story of a group of survivors from Oceanic Flight 815 that crash lands on a mysterious island in the middle of the Pacific, and soon they try to discover the mysteries of the island and also find a way off of it. Those of you who are watching this review already know that Lost was an absolute phenomenon when it was released in 2004 and has maintained an incredible legacy to this day. And it was a show that was so huge. People tuned in every week to sit down and watch this and hope that the questions that they were given would lead to more answers as they delved into a show that was filled with character, mystery, and a unique and interesting mythology that kept them watching. However, Lost in its final seasons detracted a lot of criticism from fans and casual viewers alike that thought that the show was just making it up as it went along and wasn't interested in answering the questions that it had built along the way. And many people are polarized by the ending of the show, but I think it is absolutely fantastic, and Lost might just be one of my favorite TV shows of all time, if not my favorite TV show of all time. So as we dig deeper into this, let me talk about what I love about Lost. And... There are many things that I love about this show, but I think the one thing that I love over all things are the characters. The characters are truly the heart of the show, and the show would not work without them. Now, there's a lot of people that would say that the characters and the mythology of the show are intertwined with each other. And they are, to an extent. You can't really have one without the other. But I would say that the characters are the most important thing in the show. Without them, the show would be a very interesting show with a beautiful and interesting mythology. But why would you care? And that's something that Lost really does in spades. It makes me care about the characters. I love their stories. I love how interesting all of them are. They all are broken people, and watching them grow throughout the seasons is incredibly rewarding as you see these character arcs unfold and you see how they change from how they were at the beginning of the show to the very end of the show. And I think a lot of the ways that makes these characters work are just the way they are written, as well as what the actors bring to the table. They bring such life to these characters, and these performances are some of the best that television has ever offered. But also the storytelling is a big part of why these characters are so well done, specifically in the way the story is told. Through a series of flashbacks, flash forwards, flash sideways, and even time jumps, you get to see how these characters evolve and change in a beautiful and natural way. I think Jack Shepard, the main character, has one of the best character arcs that I have ever seen a character go through. It is so subtle and absolutely beautiful, as well as other characters' journeys. I'm thinking of characters like Charlie, Desmond, Locke, um, Sawyer, Kate. So many great characters that the acting and the character work is top-notch in this show, and it's what makes me care about what's going on. But on top of all that, on top of all the character work, I think the show does a great job of introducing mysteries and giving us questions and giving us some answers, but not all the answers. And I think that's something that is going to turn a lot of people off, but I'm absolutely okay with it. I love the mysteries that this show introduces, and it makes me feel like a detective as I try to piece the things together in an interesting and just great way. It is just so compelling to watch. I also love the mythology that Lost introduces. I think it is so interesting and extremely involving and very complex as well as we go through the show and we really delve into what Lost is truly about. And what is Lost truly about? 
I think Lost is the story of right and wrong, good and evil, light versus dark. And I think that is an incredible story to tell. And I think Lost does an excellent job with telling that story. So basically what I'm saying is Lost is more about the characters. It's more about telling these people's stories than it is about answering the mysteries that it brings up. And you know what? That's not going to be for everybody, but I think it's absolutely okay. I think you should really put your characters over your mythology. Now, I've talked about what I absolutely love about the show. Now, let me delve into a little bit of the criticisms that people have with it. Many of the criticisms go from the fact that people believe that the show was just making it up as it went along, that it had plot holes. It left us with unanswered questions. It gave answers to questions we didn't even ask or answers that we didn't even want. And also very controversial is the episode Across the Sea as well as the finale, The End. All of these I do understand and I don't have a problem with any of these. And I am going to debunk some of these because some of these actually are true. And I'll tell you why. Because most shows do make it up as it goes along. Breaking Bad is an offender of this. They would constantly write themselves into a corner and write themselves out. And that show is considered to be one of the greatest shows of all time. Lost, though, gets a lot of flack for it. And I think that's because the show does add so much that it does, at times, get a little convoluted. It gets a really complex, but people seem to think that convoluted is a bad word. Convoluted just means that there's a lot going on. And that's okay. Lost is a show that has a lot going on, and I think it handles it, for the most part, very well. Plot holes, I'm not going to really delve into this much because I just hate the word plot hole and it really annoys me when people really just dig home on this because you can make literally anything a plot hole. Like, you know, a character doesn't give you the answer that you want or doesn't give you an answer at all. That's a plot hole. And I think people really overuse that term because I think plot holes do exist. But I also think that Lost does a good job of filling up any type of plot holes by going on as the series continues by answering things that were in season one in season six and those holes that you think there are are completely filled. It just takes a lot of time and that's what Lost does best. It has no reason to answer everything in the beginning. It builds its questions and then decides to maybe or maybe not answer them later and that's perfectly okay. Lost is not interested in answering every question. As for the episode Across the Sea, which might be the most controversial episode of Lost ever, and it's an episode that I absolutely adore. Now, I'm not going to go into it that much, so at this point there are going to be a little bit of minor spoilers throughout, but nothing too much that's going to spoil everything for you. Across the Sea is the mythology episode. It's the episode that really delves into the history of the island and really delves into what this show is ultimately all about. And it tells it through mythology, through a fable. And I think that is actually a very smart and interesting and wonderful way to do it. Because Lost has created a wonderful, intricate, and interesting mythology, not too unlike Greek or Roman mythology. And that's exactly how that story is played. It is like a creation myth. It is like Romulus and Remus. It's a really interesting way to do it, and that's not going to be for everybody, and I understand if that's not for everybody, but I think for what the show was building up for all its mythology, all its interesting little tidbits that it sprinkles throughout the show, I think it absolutely works. 
I also think that the finale works because it's not about answering all the questions. It's about answering most of the questions, the questions that you need answered by the end. You don't have to have all the answers, but I think it does a good job of answering the ones that you need most, and I think it sends our characters into a satisfying conclusion for all of them that leads to a phenomenal, happy, heartbreaking, and incredibly rewarding ending that was completely deserved. As I said, Lost isn't interested in answering all your questions, and that is going to turn a lot of people off. It's not interested in answering every single one of them. It's not interested in answering all these small little thousands of little questions you have. It's interested in at least answering the big ones, and that's perfectly fine, and it's exactly what you need to understand the show because the big questions are ultimately what matter. I think people have this idea that you need to have an answer to every little thing, and you don't, because that really takes away the idea that, you know, you can have free thought. You can think about these things on your own and draw your own conclusions, and you can think about it later on. I think answering all that is detrimental to that entire philosophy. And I think that's what turned people off when Across the Sea came around, because it answered things that people maybe didn't even want, or it didn't answer them in the way they wanted it to be answered. And I understand that. Now, I've talked about the positives that I have with this show and the criticisms that people have with it and have tried to defend them, but this review isn't about defending those criticisms. It is about what I love and what I think about this show. So let's get into some of my criticisms that I have with the show. And yes, I do have some criticisms. One of them is the fact that we set up the character of Walt earlier on in the show to be something very special. There is a lot going on with him that the show starts really delving into, but then by about season four, it completely drops that entirely, and he is basically written out of the show. Now, this is very disappointing, and there are people that, you know, will be like, well, maybe you're a little hypocritical because didn't you just say that it doesn't have to answer everything? And I think this one was at least worth a little bit of answering because I think they did such a good job of just introducing us to Walt and showing that there's something about him. And then they completely just write him out of the show. And I think a lot of that is due to the forward momentum that the show brings in the fourth season as they are trying to finally reach the end point of the show. And, and that delves into something that I do want to talk about, and that is the fact that around season three, Damon Lindelof went to ABC and told them that they needed to have an end point for Lost, and ABC listened to them and gave them three more seasons to finish this show out. If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, back then, TV shows didn't just end. They were canceled. You know, they ran until they didn't bring in the viewership, and then they were finally canceled. But Lost was a show with a ending in mind, and with an ending in mind, they had to continuously elongate the series because the show was continuously going to get renewed. People kept coming back to it, and that led to some problems around season three as that season in particular feels really elongated and really messy as they begin to elongate storylines and try to push storylines that are otherwise things that didn't need an episode to them. One of the big offenders of this is the episode Stranger in a Strange Land, where we learn how Jack got his tattoos, and it's extremely dumb, and it is one of the low points of the show. In fact, I would say that season three is definitely the lowest point of the show, but I think it is still 
great TV nonetheless. But back to this whole Walt thing. I think that the setup for Walt was something that they were delving into because the series was going to be elongated until Damon Lindelof went to ABC and said, listen, we need to have an end point for this show. And then they gave it to them. So I think that Walt's storyline is a carryover from that. And ultimately, they just kind of wrote it out of the show by that point because it wasn't what the story or the show was truly about. And so that's a little disappointing. I would have liked some more stuff to do with him to have a satisfying conclusion, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm completely okay with it because the story continues with the same ferocity, the beautiful character work, the interesting mythology, and it continues on until the very end, and I'm happy with how it all ended. Ultimately, sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. In the end, Lost doesn't have to answer all the questions that it poses, but by the end, it answers all the questions that are worth answering. It answers all the big questions that it set up throughout the show. It doesn't answer all of them, but it answers the ones that are worth knowing for the story. People would say that the mythology of Lost is as important as the characters, and I think even though they go hand in hand, I think the characters win out, and I think that's what Damon Lindelof did with the series finale by making it not about the mythology. He already did that, but he made it about the characters and gave them a satisfying beautiful and wonderful conclusion and I think that the end is one of the greatest series finales of all time if not one of the greatest episodes of all time. The fact that people are still to this day talking about this show whether it is for good or for ill whether they like it or dislike it I think really shows the power that this show had that people were willing to get invested in it. They loved these characters. They loved this mythology. And I think it really shows the everlasting power that this show has. I absolutely adore this show. I love it. I love the character work. I love the mythology. I also love the music that I didn't even talk about. Michael Giacchino's score is absolutely fantastic and might be my favorite score that he has ever done. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the character work. I love the interesting storylines. I love it all. And even with some of my criticisms with it, I still think it is one of the greatest shows of all time. And it is definitely my favorite show of all time even succeeding over my previous favorite show of all time, Twin Peaks. And with all that said, I'm going to give Lost a 10 out of 10. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not seen Lost, I say please check it out and be patient with it. Just take your time with it. Just know that you're not going to get all the answers but know that you're going to get the answers that matter. And just fill yourself with great characters, great dialogue, great storytelling, and beautiful music with a beautiful story. Just, just be patient with it because I think it's incredibly worthwhile. It's an extremely rewarding experience and it will tear your heart out. It will break you down but it is extremely rewarding and one of the best shows I have ever seen. But anyway, guys, as I said, thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next review.